<laughs> I hope you got out. You can finally get over the bridge down here at Parramatta. Silver water, chase and brim. For some reason they had to build this jagged rocky shoreline, which is just a giant trap for rubbish compared to this, which is probably built a hundred years ago. See, the old, the new. I did a video just recently and one of you guys picked up um, bags, plastic bags. Saying I missed a softball. Oh, 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 oh. It's not a six ditch today. Huh. It's a keeper though. Yeah, I missed a softball. So I love those sort of comments. If you see me miss anything. See why the red on the claws are so deadly, eh? Hey, mate. I love it, though, look. Different one again. Ah, ah. Oh, that's the one that hurts. That's why that brown colour is such a good crab to, to uh, catch. Hop off. Okay. See the shellfish? They're dead. But the mussels are coming back. And the crabs are here. All the crap's just washed up around here. Imagine they've got to have an edge bite feed if they're here because it's the only clarity. Work along those edges as the tide lifts up. And all those bait fish. Could be a hard body bite or a minnow bite. Oh yeah, oh, I thought I was snagged. That was a monster. I'm not going anywhere. That'll do me. That was one cracking hookup. Oh, it's got my heart pumping. I spooked myself the other day. There's a few of us do it now. But we stick the babies in the trees, like the dolls. Started years ago when I had the shop, some of the customers. We would find something like that. I would, I would stick it there, like that. And then I'll come back another day and it'll be looking at me over in the fort. That means one of you guys has found it and moved it along. I'm in total river treasure mode and look what I just found. So cool. It's a screw top, it's not that old, but that's not the point. The point is, these bottles have rolled around in this ocean so long they should be all smashed up but they're always in really good condition so that's a keeper haven't found a coconut yet or a fish it's like a, a sea pod it's like a mango there's a can of fly spray there 
14. Uh, I'm glad I grabbed that. It's still our fault. Unfortunately, that's a keeper as well. Poor old mangroves. They don't deserve this punishment. Especially seeing as it's all natural. All these shells had animals in them that naturally died and turned the shells green. Oh, all green shells here. See, I don't want to fish just here because of the green shells. And see, there's no crabs where, where I started. They were everywhere. So I don't even want to throw a lure into this section. I'm going to keep walking. I really want to catch a fish, but at the same time, oh, I love walking through this stuff. Love, hate. Love finding the old bottles. Hate finding green shells. Hate finding all this rubbish. I got three different milk bottles now. And look at that one. It mightn't be a milk bottle, but it's certainly cool. Oh no, my more team's filling it. I can't pick up everything. When I see something like that, I mean, it's one good day to day and it won't make a difference, but it doesn't even make me feel better to tell you the truth. There was just no way. Oh, two nuts. Got myself a set. Oh, guess what Dumbo just did? Yuck. They're rotten. Bleh. Can't wash my hands now. Two nuts. Oh, here they were, I was thinking I wasn't even going to get a nut. And I've got two. I like that. On we go, looking for more river treasures. This is what stopped me, the green shells. I, got, I was quite happy to fish all this, but then I'd seen these green shells and thought, no, nah, go look for my coconut. And I've got two. So then we get a hat trick. There's treasures in this. <gasps> there it is. There it is. Hat trick. If anyone watched my kingfishing video, I always get seasick. But I'm a big believer in those uh, wristbands they put on. Let's go find my other two. Anyway, the boys couldn't work out why I didn't spew, and I said to them, Said I had three wristbands on. Because you've got a little marble on them that covers the vein on your wrist. So I covered all three veins on my body. Anyway, now I've got three nuts. It's a big nut, that one. It's a good club. I might take that home from Miss Jenny Brown, teach her a lesson. You can't buy timber like this. That's just been aged in the sea. rotten up on the bank now. Oh, so much junk. No of a beautiful big log. I'm missing heaps, that's why I'm filming this, because uh unless you guys are starting to look through the rubbish with me. So if you see any softballs, old bottles, cricket balls, coconuts. Now it that oh. apart from that that would have been awesome. All beautiful wood. The old bottles are more out in the mid mid area, so I'm gonna go out there. And now, thanks to a natural fish kill, there's a, a lot of open area exposed now, so I should be able to find what's hidden in it. Yep, still not fishing mate, look at this shit. But on a brighter note, number four, fourth coconut. We'll not be picking that one up. Oh, of course, oh. Is that the coconut? 
I think it is. Yep. Number five. I've caught so many fish over my life that the fishing's not as important as the fish. And walking through here gives me an understanding of why I'm doing it. Like it needs to be highlighted. This should be pristine. There's no excuse for this. So yeah, started off a fishing video. Some nice hollow logs there. There's a lot of what Mother Nature provides in here, but there's also, like you don't want to go there with whatever's in that bag. What's that, five coconuts? I'm equal my record. One more. We have a new coconut record. Who said there's no such thing as unicorns? This is a serious election issue. It's called the environment. We really got to stop putting bollards up to stop people from entering places. And we got to actually clean these areas up. I will vote for any politician that acknowledges this problem. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. New record. New record, mate. Number six. Any politician that comes out with a policy that recognises the problem, addresses the problem, and thinks he's going to fix it. More beautiful wood down there. Another big log. You can make a lot of money with this stuff if you're a timber man. Uh, yeah, you got my vote. Anyone that doesn't address it, well, I just think you're a phony politician and this is just going to continue on for another three, year, four years. So don't, don't you think that these areas need to be protected? Away from the rocks into the mangroves, there is no life in here. The mangroves just suck up all that chemical like a sponge and it's literally destroyed the place. So I've just come across the strongest chemical smell you've ever... It's rank, I can't even describe what it is. And look at the... What's going on? Oh! It's here. Whew. What's coming out of this? Well, what's come out of this? This is the stuff here. Oh. I don't know what it is, but it's got a it's got a chemical odor that I can't describe. And this smells, yeah, clean water here. It's gone. It does look like fish have come up in here. Well, definitely come up in here. The rock trail. Here we go. See rainwater? Okay. And then, evil Parramatta. Look at that. Because this is the king tide level. Like only really big tides get up here. And look at all the fresh mangrove shoots. All through here. That tells me when the fish kill come in, the water didn't get up to there, so that's all alive. Now look back here. This is where the water that sat on with the fish kill, you can't see a single green shoot, can you? Fresh mangroves, up high, and then look down here, all dead. We've got to keep pushing this issue and pushing the issue and pushing the issue and pushing the issue, and until they get water people down here and test all this, and instead of having people go, oh, well, look, I had a classic one the other day with that raw sewage that ran through the through that canal. Bloke goes, he's no expert. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Blah, blah, blah. This is not sewage. Don't blame Sydney. It's natural. And I replied back to him saying, mate, it smelt like shit. The pump was running from Sydney 
sewerage right next to it, outlet station. You know, and then I then I wrote, duh. If it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's probably I don't know a crane. Like you don't have to have a degree to understand that they're not ducks. You know, the other thing I've found a lot of lately, lemons, lemons everywhere. Break it. I've had a dozen casts of the lure, honestly. Now I've got four old bottles. One, two, three, four, yeah. Four bottles, three dolls, six coconuts. And I've actually found three lemons. Oh, I've got to slow down. Oh, surely that's a beer but What the? What is that? Each one of these bottles I find, it's, it's like catching a fish. It's a rush. It's a buzz. It's got nothing to do with monetary value. Like, the, the, there's a, a kudos like fishing. If you got to find a bottle that's worth a couple hundred bucks, it's like, it's, it's a brag thing. But you don't want to sell it. Then go through, go through the tire. Oh, I'm loving this. I'm looking at an old beer bottle. My bag's full. Check out this. What have I found here? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This one. Oh, what is that, guys? Apart from stinky. On that high ground where the mangroves are alive and the first time walking through here crabs everywhere Look at them. see there's nothing natural about what happened there crabs are thriving all through this but out there everything's dead <laughs> Number seven. Seven coconuts. I'm walking past hundreds of dollars worth of soccer balls. Driftwood soccer balls. And uh garbage. I used to take these out for my dog. I mean they're good balls. All the crabs living in the rubbish. I do believe. This is number eight coconuts. I imagine you get a lot of older bottles around the old history of this place. Like this is a big jetty. Goes all the way out. So even the mangroves aren't, aren't from here. Like there wasn't mangroves like this back in the day. And that jetty there would have gone right out to the river. Mesmerized by all this beautiful timber. My mind's always thinking business-like, like that wood, you repurposed it, the, the stuff laying on the ground. Be worth a lot of money. This is just dead here, look at it. No crabs, no life. Come on, we've got so many young marine biologists and scientists, come here and do proper studies, guys. Ooh, shit. That's uh, extremely interesting, and I'm allergic to bees, so I don't want to hang around. Look at that, see the honey sticking out. Oh, yum, yum. I'll let you have it, guys. See that, though? I don't want to get any closer, because they're going to get angry, but that, they got their honeycombs are sticking out of that tree. How cool is that? On the Parramatta River. Yeah, I'll let them be. Oh. What is that, guys? I'm loaded. That looks like an old Coke bottle. A really old Coke bottle. And look at, oh, look at this. Cinzano. 
Oh, that is an old bottle. How am I going to carry all these out? I'm taking that one. I know it's broken, but that. It's all about the colours, the patina. Another old Coke bottle. Jeez, what's that? <sighs> all right, what have we got there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven bottles. You can smell this stuff in here. It's the same as the stuff that was in in Homebush Bay, coming out of that pipe up there at the top of the creek. You can smell it in here. I've got to show them this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, spoiled. <laughs> 